Prince Charles and Kamala lead official UK tributes to mark 75th anniversary of the end of World War II. The Prince of Wales and Kamala, Duchess of Cornwall, kicked off the 75th anniversary commemorations of the end of World War II. Prince Charles was joined by Kamala, Duchess of Cornwall, to honor the sacrifices of veterans on the 75th anniversary of the end of the World War II. Charles 51 and Kamala 73 led the British tributes to those who served in the Asia-Pacific region by taking part in the two-minute silence at the service held at the National Arboretum. The 75th anniversary of VJ Day takes place on August 15, the day of the Japanese surrender which also marks the end of World War II. Earlier this year, in May, the end of the war in Europe was commemorated. For trust, VJ Day is especially poignant as his father, Prince Philip, 99, and beloved mentor and great uncle, Lord Mountbatten, both served in the region during the war. Never official Philip was on board the ship HMS Wap in Tokyo Bay at the time of the signing of the Japanese surrender. As well as joining the small number, as well as joining the small number of veterans, including 93-year-old Albert Wilkes who served in the Royal Navy aboard HMS India Fatigable, Charles made a speech praising their heroism and sacrifice. From the vantage point of the 21st century, it is hard for us to appreciate fairly suffering endured by those who fought or were caught up in this sea theater of war. He said, drawing on this time as World Supreme Allied Commander Service Asian Command by my great uncle, Lord Mountbatten helped me begin to understand the quite atrocious conditions. Charles and Kamala's appearance at the service of the nation of Arboretum in Staffordshire, England at 11 a.m. marked as the symbolic start of the commemorations. Later, a recording of Prince William giving thanks to those who served was included in a retelling of the story of the victory on BBC. The Prince Philip was featured in a photo montage of the surviving World War II veterans, which was shown on big screens at the Arboretum and on special occasions around the UK on Saturday. In the skies above the country, the speculator Red Arouts conducted a flypast tribute over Belfast. It was the first time the Squadron had done such a large flyover since the 2012 Olympics in London.